what do you think the chances are that you actually are able to pull this off? <laughs> but maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's too old to be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. All right, welcome back to the Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late, so it's time to clock in. Do you hear that? It's the sound of silence because we are in Finnish Lapland right now. Probably one of the sickest fucking villas that I've ever seen. We've got the roaring fireplace. Let's do a quick spin through it. Come on. We got a big ass kitchen. The bedrooms look like this. Just like really like cozy Finnish style bedrooms. Look at my breath. This is the first time you're gonna get an idea of how fucking cold it is here. Right now it is negative four degrees Fahrenheit. It's just an outdoor like fireplace room with like these like reindeer um, hides over here on the side and just like these like fur lined seats outside. And you kind of can just come out here and kick it, you know, smoke a cigar, have a cup of hot chocolate, sit next to this fire right here and warm up. I had to learn a lot about the country of Finland ranked as the happiest country on the planet and has been for some time because of the nature, the way of life. For every two people in Finland, there's like one sauna. So every house, probably not this big, but has a massive sauna inside of it. Show them how you do it, babe. I'm like a Nordic prince. Ow. It's so hot. Bro, what the fuck, dude? It's a little aggressive. How? Okay. Are you fucking serious? Ow, ow, ow. Outside we have a lovely hot tub. <laughs> a lovely hot tub. Oh my god. I liken being in Finland in January to being on the moon or Mars. It is a critical mission. Right now we're in the Mars rover, everybody's safe, there's oxygen to breathe, the temperature's controlled, but as soon as we get out of this thing, the clock starts ticking. Any exposed skin, within minutes, the flesh will start to freeze. If it freezes enough, they'll actually have to take a scalpel and take those indices off your body, Alex. You'll never be able to give a hand job ever again. You'll be able to give a nub job. I'm Let me see your nub. <laughs> horrifying, <laughs> horrifying. And I know we're this is a lighthearted channel, but the chances of one of the people in this expedition perishing today are higher than they have ever, ever been before. I this mean, this isn't dangerous. Look at how, how I fucking look right now. You look like a like a yeah, marshmallow. Like a, like a large marshmallow. Yeah, a big red marshmallow. I think you're cute. You do look really cute, babe. Yeah. Let's go somewhere a little bit warmer for a word from our sponsors. All right, as you guys know, as far as girls are concerned, I've been batting way out of my league for years now, and that's because my bat is filled with Blue Chew. No, but seriously, guys, I've been talking about Blue Chew for years now. It's a men's telehealth company that provides chewable tablets, which will help you achieve stronger, longer-lasting erections when it's time for you to throw down. And the best thing about Blue Chew is whether you're suffering from performance anxiety, you wanna last longer, or you just wanna show up, everything is done online, no doctor's visits, and it's shipped discreetly right to your door. Click the link in the description below, use promo code NIGHTSHIFT, and you'll get one month of Blue Chew absolutely free. You have nothing to lose. Click the link, and let's get back to the night shift, baby. Tamo. Tamo. <laughs> With T. Tamo. Tamo. Yeah. Good to meet you. I'm Mike. Mike. From okay. Earth. From Earth. Okay. <laughs> Where I'm from, it, uh, the sun goes up and stays there for uh, longer. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I bought two right gloves. There, I brought an extra pair. She's the our, uh, she's kind of special, if you know okay. what I mean. Yeah. What are about the this odds one's... that we see a polar bear? <laughs> what? Are there polar bears here? Of course there is. Of course there is. She's from Miami. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yo, this is Robert, by the way. He's the guy that put all this together. You couldn't go to the moon if you didn't have the right guide. Robert is basically like, he's Neil Armstrong. No, wait, Louis Armstrong. No, Neil, Neil, Neil Armstrong. Yeah, let's go with the Neil. Neil Armstrong, and he's the guide, and he knows everything there is to know about not dying here. Yes, yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no way. Imagine fucking going to war in like Arctic conditions. Show him this, bro. You're already dead. 
Dude, you're 40 years old. You, you never get too old to fall, David. Trust me, you actually, you might not know this, but you actually start to fall more as you get older. We're in the Arctic fucking circle right now, bro. How do you tell the huskies to stop? The brake. They are very eager to pull. You just have to use, <laughs> you just have to use brake if you want to stop. Are you gonna sit in my sled and I'm gonna drive it? I don't know if I feel comfortable with you driving. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you sure as hell ain't driving. I don't want Andrew Tate to see that fucking video. He doesn't even want you driving cars, let alone dog sleds. <laughs> you have a blanket? You have a fucking blanket? I have to drive this thing. I'm freezing. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! We'll be in St. Petersburg in no time! Yeah! The Allied troops are no match for us! My hands are so fucking cold right now. And there's nothing around us. My eyelashes are frozen right now. Oh, I wasn't built for this. I wanted to see the Northern Lights. It is something I've wanted to see since I was a kid. This phenomenon, this solar flare in the sky, green and red, these bursts that are very, very hard to come across. And you need to be basically where we are in the middle of the Arctic Circle. Even if you secure a trip, that doesn't mean that you're definitely going to. It's not as easy as you think. I get a FaceTime from Martin Garrix. You know, DJ Animal is one of the most, you know, legendary DJs of the past decade. That the Northern Lights are out and he sends me this picture. <laughs> Right here. The first night, within three hours of being here, uh, we get this this picture. Me and Martin Garrix under the Northern Lights, and it was stunning. It was everything that I wanted to 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 see. We are here at the Finland Grand Prix. Sub zero temperatures, hairpin icy turns. We're joined here today by McLaren team McLaren. racer Lando Norris. Here comes Lando Norris. And Lando Norris has got DRS and is really finishing strongly in this race. Ah, uh, and I'm going to be. And I'm gonna be racing him today. Well, sorry, let me put it like this. I'm gonna be beating him today. Yeah, you wish. What do you think the chances are that you actually are able to pull this off? Maybe. <laughs> well, maybe you. Yeah. I mean, you've been practicing already, huh? I did like three laps. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> I've been here a lot of times. This is like my home track. I li basically live here now. Really? But um, yeah, zero. You wanna put a wager on that? Oh, you wanna bet? If I beat you, you gotta get me two passes to Paddock <laughs> for the next F1 race. Okay, that's, that's fine. And, and if, if you beat me, but you gotta keep it within reason. Complimentary stay and tour of LA. Oh, oh, you take my guest room uh -huh. at the house. Uh -huh. I'll bring you to catch steak. We'll go out for the all deal. The, all the place. Done deal. All right, so uh, if you win, you're good in LA. If I win, I'm good in Paddock. Nice. Good luck, man. Uh, I think you're the one that needs the luck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Have the photo finish? Uh huh. It was me. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Bullshit. Bullshit. So we actually just figured out why my car's faster, Robert. What? What'd you say? It's well, it's just, not the car. Uh, more mass, more traction. I, I think Lando can. Weight, agree. heaviness, yeah. size, <laughs> build, <laughs> muscle. So basically, the fatter the driver is, <laughs> the closer, the closer you stay to the ground, and the wheels can dig into the ice better, and so it basically makes the car faster. And Robert just crashed his drone. Robert is crashing his drone. Come in, Robert. No. Where? Careful! Oh no! No! I just want to show him what's oh, right there. Two minutes ago, there was a massive fucking line outside the place, also known as a queue here in London. They call it a queue. The longest I have ever in my existence on this planet waited for a cheeseburger. Super Nova Burgers, London in the UK. I just waited one hour for this burger. I didn't say anything because I don't like to tell them who I am or what I do. If you make anybody wait that length of time for a burger, this thing's got to perform. The way I would describe this burger is Dainty. This is a dainty burger. Martin's potato bun, they've got sauce on both sides of it. Two two ounce patties, two slices of American cheese, 
three pickles, and just a tiny little bit of minced onions. Not diced, not sliced, minced. Do you see how small that onion is? Very crazy that they did that. So let's see where this goes. Three, two, one, go. It's a great burger. I would like a little bit more fat content on it. It's very saucy. I really like it. Oh my God, the sauce is dripping. It kind of reminds me of Five Guys. The seasoning on it. Come on, The dude. seasoning? Come on, dude. Five Guys, it's so different, babe. You know what? You'll be saved your whole life by how stunningly beautiful you are. Like, you can say the crepe. It kind of reminds me of the uh, chicken sandwich. You can say anything you want. You're so hot that it just... Yeah, you're right, babe. You're right. They put seasoning on the burgers. Five Guys does that, too. You're beautiful. You're stunning. They know what they're doing. They've got a good US style, easy to eat. I can go bop around Soho afterwards. An American guy like this guy from fucking Buffalo, fucking New York. Go Bills, baby, go, go Bills. You know, a safety suit in his pocket. He just worked a long fucking day. <laughs> you know, out on the railroad, hammering spikes into the ground. <laughs> you would need a couple of these. He would need a couple of these or he'd go home hungry. His boss, Oren, would call him the next day. Listen, you motherfucker. Oh my God. I was so enthralled by the burger, I didn't even try the chips, mate. Great chips. If there's one thing the UK does well, it's, fr it's fries or chips. They I just- I wish they were a little saltier. I think they got a good salt on them. Only some. Well, you know what? Doesn't matter They're because good. of how you look. You, you, literally, you can say anything and you're so pretty that it just doesn't matter. You're right, babe. I'm smart. You make me sound dumb. What? Oh, I didn't show. I go Supernova Burger, uh, God Save the Queen, 8.9, 8.9, it's a fantastic burger. It's, it's probably top two here uh, outside of the United States, so in the UK or Europe. So, no, oh, I you both have it. sauce all over your face. Let me Let me fix you guys up right now. Yeah, you I got do. It. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Get it off. No please. fucking way. Bro, I ran all the way from Old Street to come and see you, man. I, listen, I'm struggling with addiction. I've read all your books, I, bro. Please, please. No, literally, no. No, you don't understand, man. I literally ran. I just broke up with my girlfriend. I'm fucking dying, man. And uh, yo, I've sent so many DMs to you over the years, man. Genuinely. Hey, put, put that down. Those moments are always uh, very special for me. And I, I, the reason I kept that piece in, even though I told you to put the camera down, is because he wants it in. I, he was like, can you put me running up on the vlog? I was like, yeah, if you want it in there. Obviously, like any time I run into you guys, um, especially if you've had struggles or, um, or issues in your life and something I said on the podcast or in the book or on these videos helped you, it's always like a big moment for me. And for her too. She, she always gets all like excited to see that. And it's just, it's, it's cool to make an impact. His name's Young MD, or an up and coming rapper here in, in, uh, in the UK, so Young MD, I love you, bro. Uh, keep going. And anybody else watching this right now who's struggling, having a tough time, going through a breakup, going through family problems, addiction, uh, mental illness, any of that stuff, just keep keep going, bro. And I hope my my story shows you that you can you can get through it and you can excel. And that's why I keep making these videos, even when I get tired or cold or hungry or exhausted or like I want to go home for a few days which I was so excited to go home a couple weeks ago and I couldn't that's why I do it so you guys have these videos to watch and uh, on that note yeah Finland very cold place very beautiful place and the UK a place I love to come to so for this week's episode of the night shift thank you so much for working late with us we're clocking out peace can I get a little more energy please? I'm very cold I'm so cold <laughs> We're going dog sledding. Uh, if anybody watching this is an aborigine. Yo, let's go see some fucking polar bears. Western civilization is dying. That's what you look like. You look like you're from fucking Chechnya. Well, I am Norwegian, so. And that's not yeah, the same. They have one of the dogs already. It's a cat. It's Wait a second. And if you don't keep it together, I'll bring you to Red Square and we'll fucking chop your head off, That's you good. fucking stupid Westerner. I'm not an allied troop. I'm a fucking loser. I'm an American loser. I can't do this. Can I ask you a question? Just, just really quickly. Do you know me to ever, and I mean ever, well, on yes. any, am I done? On any, ever example of ever be wrong, yeah, Have I ever been wrong in my entire yeah, existence? Yeah, your marriage, marriage is, 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 is